Right, it is a big night for Republic of Ireland as they begin their Euro 2024 qualifying campaign against France tonight. Our reporter Guy Hovold is in Dublin for us. We can speak to him now. Good afternoon to you, Guy. I mean, Stephen Kenny has come out fighting, hasn't he, in this news conference, calling for his players to show fire and ice. And depending how old you are, he's either referring to a 1920 Robert Frost poem or Game of Thrones. Either way, is this the right tactic against France? <laughs> wow, good two cultural references there, Vicky. Uh, I'm not quite sure he's alluding to either of those. I think the fire was all about the noise and passion that Lansdowne Road can create. Create, And I think the ice is all about the composure that he wants to see from his young team. But yeah, you're right. I think there's a, a degree of, not trepidation, but anxiety over this game from one or two Ireland supporters. They hope that France were going to have a World Cup hangover uh, going into the start of this group. But that was uh, blown away, wasn't it? In about 15 minutes against Holland, on Friday when they were 3-0 up, went on to win that game 4-0. But Stephen Kenny is trying to make Ireland believe that they can do something special tonight. He's shown the players a video, incidentally, of some really good moments that Ireland have had down through the years against France. A Liam Brady goal, an iconic goal in their first ever win against Michel Platini's side in the 70s. Also uh, a, a Robbie Keane goal and that hand from Thierry Henry that uh, knocked effectively Ireland out of the World Cup or did, and it meant that they wouldn't qualify for the 2010 World Cup, so a bit of fire and ice there maybe in that video, but he also wants them to play the way they have tried to play under him. He doesn't want to park the bus, he doesn't want to just rely on set plays, he wants to try and show that this is a new Irish team tonight against the toughest of opposition. This is the time that the team needs to show conviction. When, when the lights come on in the Viva and the atmosphere is as raucous as it will ever be, and as electric as it will ever be, and France, one of the best team in the world coming at us, do we just suddenly then change and have the courage to do that? And just accept a slow death? We need to show fire and ice, like we need to show fire, we need to have that level of tenacity in our play. Yeah, Guy, you mentioned as well that they might need something special. They've got exactly that, haven't they, at the moment? This Brighton teenager, Evan Ferguson, scoring on his first Ireland start against Latvia on Wednesday. How key do you think his form could be for the success of this team? Yeah, it's huge, short-term and long-term. And there he is, uh, Vicky, on the front of the programme tonight with that number 19 shirt that he had when I interviewed him after the game and said that he was uh, giving that to his mum and dad for all that they've done for him. And yeah, he's a huge figure for them this evening. We're expecting him to start. What a progression it's been. I was just thinking that when Kylian Mbappe played in the World Cup just before Christmas, Evan Ferguson hadn't even started a Premier League game. And yet last night, Kylian Mbappe was talking about Evan Ferguson. Have a listen to this. Yeah, we saw some clips about him. Uh, of course, he's a great striker, an important striker for that team. Uh, but we hope tomorrow we're going to do nothing. That doesn't mean uh, we're going to win and we're going to do our job. But he is a good player. High praise indeed if Kylian Mbappe is talking about you. I bet you love that. Mm. Look, um, the captain, though, Seamus Coleman, missed that game over Latvia, didn't he? Could, his return tonight, uh, could he return tonight, I should say? And is Kenny expected to make any changes, do you feel? Yeah, I think he'll certainly make changes, uh, but he'll have to wait on whether Seamus Coleman is fit to play, and that may affect one or two other things that he's got to decide tonight. He's probably already made the decision. We won't know until probably an hour and a quarter before kickoff. But I think he's a big player for Ireland tonight. You want those experienced players against this wonderful French team. Just that little bit of know-how. Uh, but will he be fit to play? He's had a thigh injury. He missed the game, as you said, on Wednesday. Uh, if he does play, will he play as one of the three centre-halves or will he possibly play as a right wing-back going forward? And if he does, what does that mean for Matt Doherty? Does he drop out of the team? He's a bit rusty, hasn't had a lot of football with Atletico Madrid. Or maybe does he move over to the left-hand side and play left wing-back uh, with Callum O'Dowda out injured? Possibly James McLean might play there. But Bazunu in goal, I think, almost certainly returned. Josh Cullen, we, we know injury permitting, will be in the centre of midfield. John Egan will be back in the defence. And then I think the other talking point is up front. Evan Ferguson's got to start, surely. But does Michael Obafemi start alongside him? Or does perhaps Chidozi Ogbene get a start? Uh, again, another remarkable tale playing League One 
football last season and he might be having to use his pace on the right hand side of Ireland's attack slash defence tonight to try and stop that man we mentioned before Mbappe so a lot for Stephen Kenny to unpick really but a lot of it centres around the fitness or otherwise of his captain Seamus Coleman. Brilliant stuff lots to think about thank you very much indeed Guy.